So in 1970, when we arrived in the Willamette Valley, we were one of maybe just a couple other wine families at that time that had this crazy idea of planting Pinot Noir in particular and had a, kind of shared a vision of, of what they thought they could do with this wine grape in Oregon. There's so many things about the wine industry that are so beautiful. And to go through the, the challenge of the vintage or the pleasure of the vintage and then to later sit down and reminisce about other things beyond the vintage that happened that year. That is uh, what makes a wine family a real wine family. I feel very honored to be born into this life, really. And when you have a common vision and you have a common goal and and you're all looking at it for the long term, is, it, it's, it's a wonderful thing. Our real mission as a family winery is to remain sustainable uh, with our vineyards and with our people, uh, all of us that work together into the community at large. We're very conscious of trying to retain the terroir, but also to retain the the healthfulness of the vines, the healthfulness of the soil, the healthfulness of our workers, and to have a very light touch on the land. And that, that to us is a, a very important part of, of trying to create a product that is something that you're very proud of. And there's a level of tradition that I want to maintain with our wines, but I understand that that tradition also is based on innovation. and that that's part of my legacy from my father, is to always look forward and try to better the wines that you're making with the main goal being high quality and this respect for, for the varietal. My father and I worked together building Kalina del Sonio, which in, it translates to our hill of dreams. This has always been a vision for my father, to have a winery that is specifically designed to make Pinot Noir. And it was very obvious that he'd thought about this for probably decades. It was really fun to be able to really feel like we had done this as a family. And for that reason, I think it works so well because we were all intimately involved in, in how it should work and um, understanding really what we wanted it to be. I think our hope is that we really continue to do what we've been doing, which is stay really true to Pinot Noir, stay really honest with our winemaking, but also stay true as a family. You've got to really respect each other and understand that, um, you know, you might come at it differently, but in the end, you're all going for the same goal. And for us, it's, it's truly still to make the ultimate Pinot Noir in America.